Hey everybody, how's it going? It's your man here, Kidder85, and I am back for another installment of my Let's Play Pokemon Insurgents, and today, you guys, we are back, finally, finally, I don't know what we're saying, finally, because hopefully you guys saw the episode yesterday, hopefully you guys have seen an episode today, hopefully, if not, then I'm disappointed myself, but anyways, today, in the last episode, I actually debated you guys. Hardcore debated you guys and said, hey, we're going to battle this person in the next episode. So, it's that time. Obviously, I can't really do a full-on party review, but I'll show you my party before we go ahead and take a look in this battle. She leads off with a clay boner. You can see that's why we have Bruce up here. So, since we have Bruce leading off, um, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, I think this is definitely the battle where we let Bruce Mega evolve. It's good against every single Mon on this team. All of them. And let's go ahead, Dark Pulse. Um, sure, Mega Flygon would be cool. Um, and sure, it could help against some of the Mons, but it's not gonna help against all of the Mons, so we can go ahead and Dark Pulse here. And this Claydol is going to go down. Let's see, this is this is really not going to be that hard of a battle since we are, um, I mean we are Mega Dark type, and Dark type pretty much owns every Mon on this person's team except Age Slash. As you can see, Age Slash is coming on out right here. Um, and uh, I think. Yeah, I think Kishar should definitely come on out here. Um, it's got Earthquake, um, and Kishar can't really be touched here. Um, so let's go ahead and Earthquake. Unfortunately, we can't Mega, obviously. Um, H Slash should probably eat this because it is in its defense form. It is going to transform, though. It's going to go ahead Aerial Ace. It shouldn't do too much damage to us. Um, it's actually going to withdraw Age Slash actually send out jealous in here so this one will obviously eat an earthquake um i'll switch though if you want to do this then i can play this game as well and we can go ahead and switch into gaia who will eat any move you want to give it honestly brian what a joke it did no damage especially when you have the net the net damage of the turn with the leftovers um, but we can go ahead and Razor Leaf here. Rain Dance isn't going to really impact me too much here. Razor Leaf is going to come out and it's actually just going to straight up take out this Jellicent. So there we go. Down goes the Jellicent. And Gaia is going to get a decent amount of experience as Freddy's going to get to level 48. Still no water type move, by the way. Delphox is going to be the next Demont in, which is okay. I could honestly probably keep Gaia in here because the rain is up. But I'm actually just going to switch right in, back into Bruce since we do have the ability to do so and uh, as I said Bruce kind of owns every mon on this person's t on the Oracle's team uh, let's go ahead and Dark Pulse here it's gonna will o -Wisp plus not too much of an impact yes there will be that chip damage but honestly Burn's more important effect is that it halves your physical attack. And guess what? We're using special moves, so it's not really of concern to me. Age of Slash is going to come right back in, and guess what? We have Kishar. Kishar can do the dang thing. Um, hopefully, we can just take this thing out. It is going to transform right back into its defense form, um, but we still did over half with EQ last time. And it will do the same this time. So down goes Age of Slash, and we're almost level 49. But Net is going to be the final Mon brought in here. And guess who's gonna come out to face it? You're right, it's Bruce. So but Net's actually the final Mon. There's still rain falling, um, and we're gonna go ahead and click Dark Pulse. Oh. That's right. This Bennett is mega, so you've been warned, of course. You have been warned, of course. Um, embargo isn't gonna really do too much to us. Dark Pulse 
honestly just Oko's Manette. Manette is not the best Mega in the world. As we didn't even gain that much experience. You told us we'd be forced to take it from you. Heh, <sighs> not bad. Alright, I'll spill the beans. This prosopy prophecy has been misunderstood many, many times. Even the cult leaders have never heard the correct version. Wait, so they don't know what the real prophecy says? That's right. I'm not gonna read you the entire thing. It's a terrible poem that's easy to misinterpret, and I don't want to be that oracle, you know. I hope you're ready. <clears throat> the first thing predicted was the emergence of a hero chosen by a legendary Pokemon. Secondly, this hero will succeed. Undefeated and torn, they'll move on victorious. The last secret piece of information is that in the end, the hero will join the Inferno Cult and betray their friends. That's basically- Wait, wait, one of us is gonna join the Inferno Cult? Yeah, what? You can't leave us with that. Who's the hero? How can we stop that from happening? You can't avoid fate, Nora. Well, you can't say he doesn't have a flair for the dramatic. That reminds me what author L. Frank Baum did when he was introducing. Oh, shut up. How can you say so calm? You're just told one of us was a traitor. This isn't time to joke around. Well... He did say that she'll get rid of the cults, right? I'm a librarian. As prophecies go, I've heard far worse. Plus, nobody knows about this, right? You can use that to your advantage. But anyways, people are going to be waiting for me at the front desk, so I need to head back. Let me know if you need any more help with, well, whatever library stuff I can help with. See you around, heroes. The world needs more heroes. Get over one. Oh boy. The world needs more heroes. Nora, listen. Don't panic about this, okay? Don't panic. Damien, we just got told that we're gonna lose. People are gonna die. We're wrong about this isn't gonna help. We need to work together. If we're gonna let... If we're going to let this make... Let's turn on each other. We might as well give up now. Oh, criticizing me already, Damien? You know, if I were an Infernal Cultist in disguise, I wouldn't draw attention to myself. But of course, you wouldn't know anything about tact, would you? Not, nah, mister. I ran my mouth in front of cultists and got kidnapped in a garbage dump. No, please stop. You know what I think, Damien? I think your stepmother was right about you. I'm gonna go now. I'm not a citizen. There's a gym there. Oh, man. It's bad in order to dive. What? Why did I say all that? I don't know what came over me. I feel awful. I'm going to go apologize. I really hope I didn't hurt him. I can't lose somebody else. Damien, wait up! The plot thickens. Hmm. Well, interesting. So... As, as the, can't use that here, god dang it, I don't want to have to run all the way back, whatever, as the, um, oracle said, we will defeat all the cults, and we also were told that, um, somebody's gonna betray us, now, I'm not really sure what that entirely means, um, just use another super recall. Um, but, you know what, we'll, um, I uh, thank you. We'll see what ends up happening. We will see what ends up happening. Anyway, Sonata City is going to be important for, um, us for dive, because we can actually find a very key item to summon in our party once we have dive, so. I will definitely go and get that once we have finished, um, that. Anyways, here we are, back in Utira Town, and I think, honestly, we're ready to just move on, right? Exit the library after out beating the Oracle, I guess. Um, so next is Route 8, ladies and gentlemen. Not, not, not insane, but you know what? 
It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Right? Um. Anyways. Um. Let's see here. So it looks like the entrance to round nine is blocked. Okay. Okay. So. Interesting. Interesting indeed. If I do say so myself. Um. I am going to... Let's see here. Who should I lead off with? Now, I think we should honestly just stay with Bruce. Because why not? Um, let's go ahead and continue to the route south of here. Um, Fells effects were off. I'm not going to use another repel. I don't really feel like we need it. And here we are. Yes, we can go ahead and do that. And here we are in Route 8. So there we go. Um, looks like there's gonna be something over here. In the grass southwest of the entrance of Utira Town. I'm telling you right now. I, I don't really know. Oh, here we are. Here's our Ultra Ball that I was looking for. There are Kangaskhans here. Obviously, Mega, Mega Kangaskhan is in this game. Not really sure. Um, for those of you wondering, um, sure uh what um oh, there's a hidden girl um i don't know where the kinkaskanite is but you know what it's okay let's go ahead Maggie evolve real quick and take care of this ambipom with a aura sphere and there we go there we go freddy gonna also gain some experience freddy's level 48 he also is like kind of a high level just sane just sane um let's see here who who should i you know what gaia gaia is the best for this next trainer at least for her first mon oh no a trainer i'm not prepared i can't lose well, looks like you might be able to right here. Sand Slash, let's go ahead and Razor Leaf this thing. This thing's actually going to use Dig, crazily enough. Um, Razor Leaf is not... That was a crit. Please don't Dig again. Thank you. Go ahead, Gyro Ball. I'm okay with the Sand Slash using Gyro Ball on any mod. To be honest, Freddy's going to actually go to level 49. Still, no water move. This is starting to make me so mad. Like, you guys don't get it. <laughs> Vespa coin is going to be the next amount in here, though. And let's bring in Kishar. Let's do it. Just freaking do it. Let's go ahead. Ancient War, this thing. Should be an easy Oko if I do say so myself. And there it goes. Down goes Vespa coin. And we're level 49 on Kishar. How great. Um, next up, next trainer. Let's see here. Could probably use... Hmm. Bruce, yeah. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys are, like, honestly okay with me just doing that. Like, switching up mods. Because you guys... Do you really want to see... Um me struggle in just normal trainer battles. Who are you, and why don't you want to battle me? Oh, wait. Wrong trainer. I was honestly looking at the wrong one, 100%. Didn't mean to go to Beg. Let's go to Pokemon. And let's go to... Gato. You haven't seen Gato in a while. I love Gato. I always want to just take the fork right out of its freaking shell or whatever and just take a bite because that cheesecake looks delicious if I do say so myself. Close combat. Why did I do so much damage? But guess what? Just got minus defenses and we're using a super effective player. So down you go. Level 49 for Gato. And Ninja Boy Tani is down for the count. Interesting. Um, Let's go ahead. Beg. And... Can I please? Can I 
please. Just a sec, I'm looking at stuff. Cheese. Okay. Let's go ahead. And we have nine hyper potions. Actually, wait. I just want to see if this house is going to heal up our mons. Probably not. But maybe they will. I heard that there's a team for a rare weather inducing move in into your library. Yeah, I found it, boy. You should always you never know what they Okay, well, unfortunately they're not gonna heal up our mom, so let's just go ahead and use a hyper potion on Gatil. Alright, so um Apparently here. Yeah, I was gonna say there's a PP up. Okay, there we go. There's that. And the next item is... Okay. Okay, yes. There's really only one more item. Two more trainers in this route. And we should be good. To continue on, obviously, as you can see. Well, we have a Psychic-type trainer, first off. Who has a Grumpig. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, we might as well meta... Meta? Mega? Um, I do, I don't know why I'm thinking this, I do kind of just want to get a shiny Dove, shiny Delta Squirtle, because this thing literally, like, okay, so, shiny Delta Blastoids looks like Bowser, right? And shiny Mega Delta Blastoids looks like freaking Dry Bowser, and I'm sorry, who doesn't want to use Dry Bowser? I want to load up Mario Kart Wii now and just play Dry Bowser, like, holy crap. I actually just want to blow up Mario Kart 8 now, what the heck? What's wrong with me? Holy crap. You know I'm about to do that too, 100%. I wish I had a Switch to get the one Switch. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> There's me going on my mini rant. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and Dark Pulse this thing. Um, It copied our ability. Interesting. Um, We'll take that, we'll take that dub. Um. And let's lead off with Keyshot for the next trainer. Um, looks like we have a Snorlax. Snorlax is sleeping soundly. I won't expect anything less from a Snorlax. Of course, Ace Trainer, whatever her name was. Let's go ahead and Mega here, actually. An EQ on this Ampharos boy. And, uh, very close. Cotton Guard is actually gonna raise its defense by an insane amount, but guess what? We still take that thing out. And Sceptile is gonna be the next Mon in. We do have Bug Buzz. Let's go ahead and see how much Bug Buzz does um, after it uses Detect. Wasting a valuable turn. <laughs> we'll take that nice experience. Level 50 Freddy is. Freddy's trying to learn Screech. No, learn a water move, not Screech. I'm literally just gonna have to take the experience share off of this guy because we're my normal party is not getting the experience it needs. Um, well, freaking every like Freddy, an irrelevant Pokemon right now is getting experience. Ever since Pika Taxi became popular, nobody really has a need for the HMO2 anymore. I'd sell it to you, but I wouldn't blame you if you're not wanting to pay for it. You can just have it for free. There we go, we have Fly. Fly isn't an awful move in battle. Hopefully you'll find a use for it. Is Fly gone learn Fly? I mean, Fly gone. Ha ha! Whatever. I don't really care. Looks like we have found ourselves Miara Town. Interestingly enough. Whoa! Whoa. I think this is like the leader or something like that. Ah, Miara Town, my favorite place in Torin. What a lovely, lovely town. It's peaceful, serene, and built over the shining sea. And of course, the Whirl Islands now rest just a route away. It's almost a shame, really. Perhaps when I flood the region, I'll have. I'll leave this town for last. At last, the sea is awakening once more. It's time to bring it, its king at his crown. Interesting. So it looks like 
Somebody wants to flood the freaking region! Hmm, I wonder if we're gonna need to stop them. Anyways, let's go up, heal up our moms. We go, how far are we into this episode? And let's see here. Probably, we probably have time to kind of explore the town, maybe. Oh, geez, we're only 20 minutes in. Holy crap, let's go ahead and look over this town for just a little bit. Alright. Um. Let's see here. That's the, okay. So. Um. Let's see here. Small island with a sailor on it. Um. Um. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. So. Let's go ahead. And. Um. We have a lot of items that we can find here. Um. Let's see here. There's, there's, there's a lot of items here. There's a lot of Pokemon you can get while surfing. There are actually, um, some Pokemon that we can get here. Oh, there are actually, like, a lot of, um, lawns that we can get. Uh, alright. Boy, can I stop yawning? What's this? What's this? Somebody here wants to trade a Delta DC's Pokemon. Oh, this is like the trade house, I think. I'll trade you my Machoke for a Beedrill. What do you think about that? Um, that's an automatic Machamp right there. My Haunter, your Vigoroth. Yes, that's an automatic Gengar. Interesting. Me? Oh, no, I have nothing to trade. I'm just here for the fantastic culture exchange. Same. I'll trade you my Tropius for a Vibrava. How does that sound? No! I'd rather take my Mega Flygon. Um, would you like to trade Pokemon with me? I don't really want my Slugma anymore. I'll accept any Pokemon for it. Come back if you change your mind. There's actually two people trading Slugma in this game, I think. I probably have the rarest Pokemon in the building. A Delta Pokemon. It's a coughing, to be more specific. If you want to trade for it, I'll need something valuable in, a, in return. How about a pseudo-legendary Pokemon? At the very least, one of their free evolutions Um... As much as I would love to um, trade that, right now I don't have one available. Anyways, what's what's over here? Jeffrey, one of the local celebrities, who wants to trade between Miara and other regions. He's been doing it for years. I have so much respect for the guy. I mean, here he's he's having some trouble with thieves. Um, his ship uh, ship like thing. It's just docked near the south end of the town. You should keep your Pokemon. Healed and healthy, you need to stay safe. You really look a bit too young to be going on such a long journey. You know what? You can have these. I'm probably never going to use them anymore. I'll take her vibes. You should keep your Pokemon healed and healthy, you need to stay safe. Oh, I already talked to you about that. Okay. Um. Let's go up here. What do you have to say? If you're interested in fossils or artifacts, our museum is definitely the place for you. There's so many interesting things to learn about. Cool. Cool, cool. Cool beans. Is that what people say nowadays? You should check out the trading center in our town. I've seen offers ranging from Delta species to shiny Pokemon. Fortunately, we've already been there, and I'm not willing to trade any of them. Use these on your adventure. I'll take those Ultra Balls. There we go. We take those. We take those. Alright. Locate. Wait. Northwestern Island. That's all I see. Okay, Northwestern Island, the Northeast Tree. It's right here. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Um, and the Northwest Tree located on the Center Island. No, this, this is definitely the Center Island. Is this the Center Island? There we are. Okay. Oh, look at it. Toilet bird. It's freaking... Alright, let's see here. What do you have? What's in here? Mirror Town was founded many years ago by sailors from the south. Our little town was the very first one in Torn. I think it's awesome that our great region had such humble beginnings. Because Mirror Town is near the ocean, we often get travelers from overseas stopping by. That's why we have an international center here. It's where tourists first arrive when visiting Torn. 
Hmm, Statue of Liberty-esque. Interesting, what do you have to say? That blue lady gives me the willies. She doesn't seem very friendly. Same, 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 same. Um. Here's the museum. Oh wow, I actually just guessed at that. I'm literally gonna interact with every single tree now. Just wanna, how do you get down there? What the heck? Whatever. I feel like it's the basement in the freaking. If you skin past the storm stars, you can see. What? What? No. No. Where are my items? No. You have two houses on here, but no items. <laughs> You've heard of the dragon runes? I hear it has some connection to you know the mythology, but I can't really be sure. It's right next to Selene City. I might visit it someday. Cool. My daddy's a super famous arc, arc, uh, super famous explorer. I want a girl just like him. Even though you don't know that how to call him archaeologist. Come on now. Come on now. What's this on Flora? Flora, Flora. Oh, it's holding a dawn stone. Is that how we evolve some floors? I think. I heard the auger went to Talnor Town and got attacked by assassins. Scary. I hope the same thing doesn't happen if he visits Miara. Well, the auger, my friend, is a traitor. Did you know that poison types can never miss the move toxic? In my opinion, will o -Wisp should work the same way with fire types. But hey, nothing about a Pokemon really does make sense, right? Alright. Um... Wait, what? The southwest tree located on the southwestern island? Ha ha! There we go. Alright. Um... Okay. All we have left is the museum, and guess what? I don't really want to go to the museum right now. I'm sorry, I just don't. So we're going to go ahead and end off our episode right here. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode of Pokemon Insurgents, make sure to mock punch that like button, and of course subscribe if you guys have not. Make sure to peep the Twitch and the Twitter. So I'm streaming more, whether it's Game Jam, Overwatch, or anything in between. Make sure you're at my Twitch channel. But with that, you guys, I'm going to get up out. This is Caterade Fast signing out. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have yourselves a good day.